It's the consistency and the laziness of getting up and cooking proper food. I think it's very like common for people to have gone on the journey and then they just come on YouTube and be like, oh, this is what I done. We're gonna do this together. This is this is the thick bitch diaries. I am a lazy, lazy girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I know it's like 20 days in, but we actually move. New year, new me and things. But yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. So I'm going to be talking about my goals for this year, uh, body-wise and fitness-wise and how I'm going to be documenting it all on my channel. I'm going to be documenting it all on my channel. So my goal for this year is to be in the best shape of my life. I am going to be ah, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be slim, thick. I'm already a baddie, and I'm going to be even badder baddie. If that makes sense. But um, I really want to focus on like my health and fitness this year, and I thought I'd kind of use uh, my YouTube channel to document it and actually try and reach these goals because I. I'm someone who started so many fitness journeys, stopped and starts and stopped and start. And then I talk about this all the time. So, you know, I'm gonna talk about it again. In 2018, I like stuck to like a fitness journey and like I felt myself, lost some weight. I looked like the best I've looked in a long, 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 long time. Like as an adult kind of thing, cause I am trying not to like look at my teenage body. Um, because we are very different people now that mara was dancing like four days a week for like three hours and bloody eating properly and uh, this mara uh adult mara worked a desk job you know and so we're very very different people so i'm gonna stop comparing myself to like 16 year old me 18 year old me because your girl was 22 you know you know your girl's a grown woman i can do whatever i like and them things they are anyway my goal is to lose a bunch of fat because I'm currently uh, considered obese with the BMI, even the BMI is bullshit, but even with uh, like with my fat, the fat that I have on my body, I am considered obese. Um, I have a smart scale which kind of breaks down everything. It, it calculates my BMI, it's how much percent of my body is fat, how much percent of my body is muscle, how much percent of my body is water, uh, and yeah, my actual weight as a whole, I and mean, then it breaks it down. So I am looking at my scale as it's broken down, not just at my weight, which is 94. Again, um, and um, which is really good because like if i was to just go off my weight i would think oh my god like i'm just all fat no like i i listen i this is something that i very pride myself on for how my body is for my body composition for the amount of fat that i have i got a lot of muscle my i have more muscle than the average person that has my body composition yeah shout out to dance shout out to weightlifting Ooh, ooh, above average baby Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but we need to work on that fat we need to get that fat down and one thing about me yeah is like i know what works for me i know what works for my body it's the consistency and the laziness of getting up and cooking proper food because i now live at home my mother cooks a lot more than i cook it's just the laziness and actually getting my butt and working out because i'm lazy i am a lazy lazy girl because coming back home from uni and starting a full-time job was the death of me because then i started going out and eating food and stuff like that and i just all the progress that i made um like during that time when i was like on like a mad fitness journey it came all back because i was eating like shit and not working out and not going to the gym um i know like what well, works for me food wise and stuff but the, i'm on this is not my second week um and week last week was week one i didn't record week one because i kind of wanted to like I just kind of get into a routine and see what's working for me and i wanted to kind of test um the macros that i was eating and i was able to like, adjust it a little bit because i was feeling like a little bit hungry so i adjusted it because i am an advocate of eating good seasoned volume food that are like low calories but fill you up to the gourds so volume food food with loads of water so like peppers mushrooms broccoli oh bruv 
my a whole red pepper orange pepper and yellow pepper i don't fuck with green peppers at all um some tomatoes even roasting them in the oven with some courgettes as well obviously courgettes or well, the whole courgette yeah uh roasting it in the oven or like um pan frying it with like fry light and then eating it with like 40 grams of pasta and just like uh 100 grams 200 grams of chicken breast and it's it fills you up that amount that amount of vegetables you're done slumped you have the is but calories wise i'm pretty sure it's around like 500 600 calories which is so good for a dinner and like, i'm advocating in volume food so i'm going to show you guys the food i kind of make and the stuff that kind of keeps me you know fit oh i'm a liar i pre i think i recorded one of my i recorded what i eat in a day I'm going to look at my files and stuff and kind of show you guys that and go on this journey with me. I think it's very like common for people to have gone on the journey and then they just come on YouTube and be like, no, oh, this is what I done. We're going to do this together. This is this is the thick bitch diaries. No, I can't say that. What am I going to call it? I don't know. I'll call it something cute. Like the glow up diaries. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, 2021 is my year. I just wanna, I, I wanna have a fat ass. I wanna have a fat ass, I wanna be fit, I wanna be healthy. I don't want to be obese. I don't wanna be obese. Um, yeah, because it's not good for your health. And then in my family, there's like history of like diabetes, type two diabetes especially. Um, and just like health problems. And I, I don't I don't wanna be that. And I wanna feel more confident in the clothes that I'm wearing. I just want to feel more confident like i'm already a bad bee i just want to be even better bee you know i want to be the girl that i'm destined to be i'm going to be starting on the gram uh is there anything else i want to talk about workout wise i am a very much a weight lifting kind of gal and i hit workout kind of gal so resistance training uh weight lifting and maybe some calisthenics uh because we're in lockdown in london in the because we're in lockdown in the uk the gyms are closed so i am doing this all from home but i have some weights um i've been able to kind of make do what i got i don't have to do no i hate i hate home workouts like you know like body weight work i just i don't know i hate it i hate it so i got weights which 10 10 um but yeah i can't i love calisthenics as well in terms of like handstands and all that but my room is not the place to be doing up handstands and yeah my walls are like what do you, I don't know what it's called, they're not like real walls, only walls that are facing outside are real walls. I use the Shreddy app, I'm going to be doing the 8 week Shreddy challenge, I think it's 8 weeks. Then after that I'll see how I feel, I'll probably just use like Instagram workouts that I see. And yeah, we're going to go on this journey together. Um, I really hope you watch this uh, journey and yeah it's gonna be fantastic i i don't think i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show like my before just yet not not just yet because you know i'm a bit shy okay so i will see you next week see you next time see you next video uh -oh.